Hello, it's Laura with Melmetia. Today I'm going to show you how to do a mail merge with Google Sheets. Let's get started. First, go to the Google Workplace Marketplace to install the Melmetia add-on. Once you've installed it, go ahead and open Google Sheets. You're going to start your mailing list directly onto this document where each column is going to represent a category such as name, email and company. Then in each single row, you're going to include each of the recipient's data. If you've already created your contact list, you can go ahead and import it directly by clicking on to file and then import. Go ahead and select the list you've got. Select here, import data and open now. Now that your list is ready, open Melmetia by clicking on two extensions, Melmetia and Open Melmetia. Now that you've got Melmetia opened, we're going to go ahead and create a new template. That is the email you're going to be sending to your contact list. You see that this um, opens up, enter the subject line, sorry, super important, and then go ahead and enter your email here. I've copied and pasted mine. So I've added X's here so I know where to enter my variables. So that's the data that is located onto your Google Sheet. To insert a variable, you go ahead and click on insert variable here. My first one is gonna be first name, and then my second one is here, and it's gonna be um, company. Mailmeter lets you mail merge with attachments in Gmail. It's possible to attach files like pictures or PDFs to each of your emails. To do that, you go ahead and click on the icon here and then you'll be able to just drag and drop the files that you want to add. You have to keep in mind that this um, file, so let it be a picture or a PDF, is going to be the same one for each recipient. If you want to personalize that, you can also do it. We suggest that you watch the tutorial on our website. You'll find the link in the description below. Now that you've included everything, you've double checked, you can go ahead and save template. Now you can click on the preview emails button to review your email. By clicking on the arrows here, you can see how each email is gonna look like to each of your recipients. You can even send yourself a test email if you want to double check one last time. You just have to click the receive a test email here. Before you go ahead and send your emails, I'd like to share one last tip with you. Everyone will tell you that if you send all emails in a blast, you are more likely to land in your recipient's spam folder. So our best tip to make sure that it doesn't happen is to space out your emails. That's why we've created the autopilot. To use autopilot, it's really easy. All you have to do is click on the arrow here and then select autopilot. Autopilot will define exactly when your email should be sent and the best rate to boost your campaign, whether it's 100 emails per day or only sending emails in the afternoon. It makes your sending much more natural and less likely to be considered as an automated query. So when you open Autopilot, default values have been picked to give the best balance between an acceptable time to send emails and a great deliverability rate. With Autopilot, you can make sure that you don't send too many emails at once or exceed your daily limit. Feel free to play around with the settings and keep in mind, the longest, the best. So you'll go ahead and select when you want to send them on the left hand side then the sending rate here and then you can even select when you want to start sending them so either right now tomorrow or next week what's great with sending emails on autopilot is that you no longer have to worry about hitting gmail's daily sending limit the autopilot feature lets you bypass the daily gmail sending limits by staggering your email communication over several days once you're happy with the features, you can just go ahead and send with autopilot. So within a single click, Mailmeter will start sending the bulk email. When your emails have been sent, Mailmeter generates a tracking report with emails opened in click. 
You can access this feature by clicking onto Extensions, Malmetia, and then Tracking Report. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful. See you soon for another one. Bye.